we're going to be demonstrating a phishing attack, which is where we are going to send an email that pretends to be from a known good source, such as a bank, to a victim. And when they read and execute or click on the link in that email, it is actually going to allow me to control their computer remotely. So step number one, the attacker is going to send the email to the victim's inbox. When they click on the link, it is going to send them to the attacker's computer. Then the attacker is going to execute and send that back to the victim. At that point, the attacker has complete control of the victim's computer. So we're going to give a short demonstration on how that works. This computer represents a, an attacker or a hacker's computer. And this, this will be the victim computer. So when we send off the email, it's very simple to do. You can see. And then in a minute I will receive the email. Mm -hmm. I will say I sent an important uh, email from my bank, from the security department. I will see that I need to uh, change my username and password. So I should click on the link. When I click on the link. So at this point, you can see that we have managed to take over and send the virus already to the victim's computer. Now in order to show that we can control the victim's computer, And he's able to execute from that computer and make whatever he wants appear. He did a harmless message in this case. Could it, could, it could be whatever he would want to do. So we now control that computer. What that allows us to do is from this point forward, all of his bank accounts, his email addresses, his personal files, photos, any type of personal and private information stored on this computer now belongs to the hacker. And it's just as easy as sending a simple email. So I guess moral of the story is be weary of the emails that you receive.